Welcome into College Corner today, getting into the Saturday slate of college basketball. First day of the round of 32. These are my three best bets for the day. Uh, Thursday opened with a 2-1 and one finish. Today I'm recording, not sure how Friday will go, uh, but 2-1 and one to start. The player props have been letting us down a bit, hoping to get back to it in this one. I've got two play, uh, two plays on sides, and then we've got a, uh, a player prop for you to close things out. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel as well if you enjoyed, and of course, follow me on Twitter. Dropping many more plays throughout the tournament on Twitter. These ones are just three of my favorites for the day, so plenty more there. Be sure to follow, and as well, if you guys are looking for any sports books to sign up at, DraftKings could be a great spot for you. If you sign up and you bet $5, you're going to get $150 in uh, bet credits as well. So I'll include that link down below in the description if you guys are looking for a place to go. DraftKings has a vast, vast amount of props for college basketball. Probably the most I've, uh, of, of any of the sports books I, uh, that I'm using. But let's get to the first play. We're going back to a team that treated us well on Thursday. It's San Diego State, minus 5.5 against Furman. Now, this is a matchup that, again, screams the Aztecs for me. Uh, we, we got pretty lucky with the cover against Charleston uh, on Thursday, but here's another opportunity, which I think is an even better one at a, at a, the same price. So match it with Furman. Furman is another high-volume three-point shooting team. Uh, almost 47% of their shots come from behind the arc, which is a very, very high volume. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's top 10 in the country, but almost as high as Charleston was. San Diego State, again, boasting that elite three-point defense. Opponents are shooting almost uh, less than 29%, which is sixth in the country. It was on display against Charleston. Defense was incredibly good, even around the rim. A lot better than what it was during the regular season, but especially good from three. That's why they covered. That's why they won this game. That's why they're advancing. And now they get a very similar matchup uh, on the defensive end. But on the offensive end, I like them even better because this Furman team is weaker than the Charleston team they just played, both in two-point defense and and opponent free throw rate. That is exactly what San Diego State tries to do offensively between uh, Matt Bradley, between Ledee, um, Trammell. This whole this whole offense doesn't really take many threes. They like to attack the rim and can score from there at will. This Furman team is 231st in two-point defense, 219th in opponent free throw rate. So a lovely matchup here. San Diego State is in an excellent spot to make it onto the round of 16. Pull something big off for the Mountain West that they've continued to struggle in the tournament. This is a team that I think gets to the Sweet 16 and likely a matchup with Alabama and could give them troubles as well. So look out for the Aztecs. Definitely lock them in. Best number was available to me at minus five and a half over at Bet Rivers. So be sure to look there. We've got a upset here that I absolutely love between Kansas and Arkansas. Arkansas, a short three and a half point favorite. I think that'll raise some eyebrows for the betting public. Kansas already looking to be a very public uh, favorite here on the Saturday slate. I like the matchup for Arkansas. I have them all the way in my Elite Eight in my bracket if you got to watch that video on the channel. Uh, this is an Arkansas team that has an advantage on both ends of the glass. They're top 125 in both offensive and defensive rebounding. Kansas has been about average or just below average in both of those categories. So I can see them limiting second chance opportunities for Kansas, getting second chance opportunities for themselves. Very inefficient game they had against Illinois to open the tourney. I think this is an opportunity for them to be able to get things right. The biggest weakness for Kansas defensively is keeping opponents off the free throw line. And Arkansas puts a very, very high importance on being able to do that. Arkansas is getting to the free throw line and getting 21% uh, of their points at the line um, and getting to the line at a 39% rate. So huge part of what they do offensively can take advantage of that weakness there from Kansas. Arkansas, though, on the defensive end, very, very good. Make, makes tough life very tough for opponents. They're top 20 in effective field goal percentage. So great defense from both two and from three. Kansas is a team that attacks things on the interior, getting over 56% 56, 56 of their points from inside the arc. Arkansas opponents shooting just 46% from two. So love the defensive matchup there, uh, and, and especially one uh, on that rebounding end where they can limit those second chance opportunities. So I like this Arkansas team. This team has plenty of, of experience, has one of those high profile potential NBA lotto picks in Nick Smith, Ricky Council, Anthony Black. I think this team is positioned to make a run coming off a bit of a rough shooting day against Illinois, a really good interior defense. Kansas is very good as well, not quite as good. So hopefully some opportunities here to be a little bit more efficient from the field, but love what they can do defensively. So give me Arkansas as a three and a half point favorite. And if you want to bypass the points, play them on the money line. I think they can pull this one out too. Last play here, we're looking at Ricky Council in a player prop over 13 and a half points. That is in that same Arkansas-Kansas game. So we're going back to it with some help from 
our friends over at props.cash. We can see um, just on the screen here, you can see he's gone over in six of his last 10, actually seven of his last 11, even better. Uh, very good to see there. He's coming off an 18 point game against Illinois. Uh, again, mentioned that strong interior defense that they play. He was able to get to the free throw line 12 times. He's 11 of 12 at the line. 11 of his 18 points came at the free throw line. It's exactly the type of thing we're targeting here in terms of that success for Arkansas offensively is going to come by getting to the line. And Council leads the team with uh, 7.1 free throw attempts per game, and he's averaging almost 10 field goal attempts a game. So I love what he's been able to do offensively. This is a line he's been able to meet as well. We're probably going to get a few more points in this game than we did in that Illinois game. Council is a big uh, member of that department and what they do. He had a ton of minutes to open the tourney. I believe he might have played 38 or 39 minutes. Uh, so that's good to see, especially as you get to some of these most important games of the season uh, for this Arkansas team. We're seeing his minutes come up. We're seeing his opportunities come up. And again, the matchup here is what's great for Council. I would avoid, you know, Nick Smith is a, is a terrific player, a guy with a bit more shooting volume. He's not getting the line as much. Anthony Black, more of a distributor. So Council's the guy we want to go to as that leader and get into the free throw line. So give me Ricky Council over 13 and a half points. Wrapping things up, San Diego State minus five and a half. Arkansas plus three and a half. If you want to play the money line, certainly can do that as well. And Ricky Council of the Razorbacks over 13 and a half points. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the content, if you're looking for more, we'll have more picks for you tomorrow on Sunday, final games of the weekend, and then we'll be getting you ready for the Sweet 16 next weekend as well. So be sure to subscribe, like the video as well, comment down below with some of your favorite plays if we've been helping you make some money. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.